Hello, this is Dr. Randy Morris. I am a board certified fertility expert and the medical director at the world renowned IVF1 Fertility Center in Naperville, Illinois. And this is Infertility TV. In order to get pregnant naturally, sperm must swim from the vagina, through the uterus, and up into the fallopian tubes. The opening to the uterus is called the cervix and it is filled with sticky mucus. After intercourse, most sperm are killed in the vagina. The ones that survive will often get stuck in the mucus. This brings up two very important questions. Question number one, is some infertility caused by cervical mucus preventing sperm from getting into the uterus? The answer is possibly. Why the uncertain answer? Well, many years ago, fertility doctors used to do a test called a postcoital test. Basically, couples would have intercourse and then go into the doctor's office. The doctor would extract a little bit of the cervical mucus and look at it under the microscope. Sometimes the doctor would see lots of sperm swimming easily around. Sometimes they saw very few sperm or none. They thought they were measuring how likely sperm were to get through the cervical mucus. It wasn't until years later that physician scientists actually tested the theory and found that the results of that test don't help predict whether a couple would get pregnant or not. The bottom line is we don't have an accurate way to measure or detect cervical factor infertility. There's also been an old theory that using a non-prescription medication called guafenicin found in the cough medicine Robitussin would thin the cervical mucus and make it easier to get pregnant. Unfortunately, after many years, there are no good quality studies to show a benefit to this. In fact, there are money studies which fail to show that it works even to help with a cough. If you like this video, remember to like this video and share it in your support groups and on your favorite social media channels. Do you have a topic or question you would like answered on Infertility TV? Let us know in the comments. You don't want to miss any episodes, so subscribe to Infertility TV now and visit our website at IVF1.com.